everyone. I'm Lois with Glossy Glossy Knit Designs, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a one color, one by one brioche ribbing in the round. This video is going to be focused solely on joining in the round and then uh, doing the setup round. There will be another video where you can watch how to do that in the round uh, over and over. But for this video, I wanted to just take the time to really look up, look at setting this up so that we can be successful. Okay, so let's switch to our hands. Here we go. I have already cast on. I'm using short needles so I can do magic loop and not take up too much time. I've cast on 24 stitches here because that is the thing that you need to know. If you're doing one by one ribbing in the round for brioche um, or any, you have to have an even number of stitches, okay, not an odd. So I'm gonna just take about 12 of these stitches, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, bring this down, and I'm gonna magic loop this. Now, if you are not familiar with magic loop, that's okay. You can knit in the round the way that you knit in the round. Maybe you have the right size, cable, or whatever. And the only thing is this first stitch here. Now, I don't use a slip knot. So if you do, you don't have to do this first step. If you start your cast on with a slip knot, you can skip this step. But because I don't, I actually am going to purl this first stitch. Now, it's really awkward. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to purl this first stitch, all right, to join it in the round. I'm doing that because I didn't use a slip knot and I just want to secure that in place. Now, because I'm magic looping, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that all the way down. There we go. All right, now what I'm gonna do is begin my pattern repeat. So I wanna put on my stitch marker for the beginning of the round. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knit this stitch. Okay. Just a regular old knit, and I'm going to move that so that way my beginning of stitch marker. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? Some sort of voodoo magic that was like a glitch in the matrix if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I do not know how that happened, that was really weird. Okay, here we go. All right, so now that I've joined in the round, I'm ready to begin my brioche steps. All right, so I'm going to bring my yarn to the front, slip. The first stitch and then just knit like normal into that second stitch okay so bring it to the front slip and knit and when I'm doing that I'm creating this yarn over see this yarn over there's one here as well so bring to the front slip and when I go to knit I'm making a yarn over okay so bring to the front slip knit and create that yarn over and this is why it's the setup, because the first one, we're not brioche knitting, we're just knitting regular, okay? Let me bring this back around. Now I just knit into that last stitch, so we need to bring the yarn forward again, and we're gonna slip that first stitch and knit. forward. Now this is where we started, right? We made that first purl stitch and then we put on our stitch marker and did our first knit. So we've been doing the yarn over on the purls. We want to do that again for this setup row. So I'm going to bring the yarn forward, slip that stitch, and then I'm going to bring it all the way around, bring it back to the front, move the stitch marker, and then I need to do a yarn over on this stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that stitch yarn over, kind of wrapping this time to get that yarn where I need it to be. And now we're working a purl setup row. And I, it's really just the setup because I wanted to show you that. Um, that transition. 
Okay, so we've got our yarn over, and now we're going to do a brioche purl, which is really just purling, but we're purling these, uh, we're purling the um, yarn over and the stitch that we slipped last time. Okay, so we'll just purl those two together, and that's called a brioche purl. Now our yarn is already in the front, so we're just going to slip that stitch, wrap around back to the front so we can get a yarn over for next round, and we're going to brioche purl the next two stitches. We're just going to purl those two together. around we do the same thing over and over and over again all right so we're gonna do one more round like this and then really this is how you do in the round but I wanted to get some more fabric to show you um, in another video so if you're interested in that come back come back and watch that next so I'm just gonna purl and like this part is important if you're magic looping I need my yarn over to be on my cable not on my needle Okay, so I'm being careful to make sure that yarn over is on my cable. If you are not using Magic Loop, that's not super important, but if you are, that is important. Same with double pointed needles. You're going to want your yarn over for your brioche stitch to be on whichever needle that the yarn over is going to be knit with the stitch. Okay, so just be really aware of that and don't be like, doing your yarn over on the other needle, or in this case, on the wrong side of the magic loop, because that's just going to cause you a pain later on. Okay, so harness forward, slip, I like got lost in what I was doing, and brioche purl, yarn is forward, slip, wrap around, brioche purl, yarn is forward, slip, brioche purl, yarn is forward, slip, brioche purl. So when you're working um, one by one ribbing in the round for brioche, uh, you are working two rounds repeated over and over. So we're just going to go ahead and brioche purl this. Yarn is forward. We're going to slip and now we want to brioche purl this. Okay? And we're ready to start round two. So stay tuned if you um, want to watch part two, then that will be going live in just a moment.